As the global pandemic continues to rage on, nearly every country finds themselves still stuck in quarantine. Because of this, many schools have decided to start their new year of online classes, teaching their students over Zoom calls and Google Hangouts. Likewise, rather than being in a classroom, which would put students at risk, Aragon High School chose to engage in distance learning, helping our community work together to stay apart. Though we know online schooling is a safer alternative of learning during a global pandemic, how does it affect our students, especially freshmen who have yet to adjust to their shiny new high school life? Due to being freshmen ourselves, both my friends and I had a front row seat to this new and unfamiliar experience. My name is Carissa Ho. I'm 14 years old and I'm a freshman at Aragon High School. I mean, you just started high school with no experience under your belt whatsoever and suddenly everything is online. Picture this. You've just woken up in the morning, getting changed and ready for your first day at Aragon High School as quickly as any sluggish teenager could. You choose a nice, impressionable outfit, get yourself all tidied up, and eat a filling breakfast, ready and refreshed to start your day. Only to end up sitting in front of a steaming hot computer for six hours. Yep, thanks 2020. And I mean, I'm not the only one to have felt this way, right? Plenty of other people have felt frustrated, right? Right, guys? So my expectations were a lot of homework, um, but mostly I wanted to meet new people and make new friends, and I wanted to meet new teachers and be involved in more clubs we didn't have in my middle school, um, such as American Red Cross, Women of the World, and tutoring. I was expecting it to be very tiring because I have lots of extracurricular activities and I wouldn't have much time for homework. But now that it's online, I guess it's easier because I don't have to like drive around places and take up some homework time. Personally, like many, I was expecting something more exciting. I had purged my room of my old middle school cringe and tidied it up. I would bought some new clothes, some nice school supplies, and I'd even started planning out how I would organize my backpack and locker. I was excited to make friends, to try and find like-minded people, if social awkwardness would allow it. The idea of high school was like a beacon of hope, an escape to days better than the middle school nonsense, but also a source of dread at the same time. To be honest, I was anxious. I was worried about being able to get along with people or how to handle a whole new workload. The concept of high school was foreign and new, a big change to how I've been living for the past few years. And that was why when I found out it was online, I was frankly disappointed. However, after seeing how hard teachers are trying to give high school students like me the best experience they can possible, it'd be a lie to say that I'm not the least bit more open-minded to the concept of online schooling. I think my teachers are doing the best that they can to make this learning experience for us as the best as possible from what we have. And if there's any problem, they always try and fix it right away. Like they're doing their best to make class as normal as possible. If something goes wrong, they always like try and fix it as soon as possible and they try to make it the best learning experience. Yeah, I've encountered many difficulties. We, during class, we lost Wi-Fi a couple times and I tried to get it back. And then if I went and we got it back, the Zoom was kind of slow. And there's also some background noises if I go downstairs to do music. School would be a lot more, school would be easier because teachers would be able to help us easier and it would be easier for them to teach us because that way they can help us one-on-one. -on -one. And I think it'd be easier to make friends because it's kind of hard to make friends online. While Carissa and I were taking our first steps into high school, a completely new environment, we wondered what it was like for upperclassmen who were returning to this newly distanced Aragon High School. So how do you think you would feel if you were a freshman this year? I would feel very confused because 
um, or not not confused. I'd feel very disoriented because a lot of high school is physically being there and physically being in that space. And it's really hard to kind of build connections with your teachers, build connections with the school when all you've known it as is a digital medium. How does the school year overall compare to your usual high school schedule? Well, timing wise, it is about the same. You know, we still have periods, we still have flex time and whatnot. But the biggest difference, obviously, is that I'm not walking from classroom to classroom. I'm clicking from window to window. And uh, that does actually do a lot because, as I said before, school is a lot, as much as it is about learning, is also about socialization and like learning how to socialize and kind of being in that space with other kids. And I don't think that distance learning necessarily has that same sort of social interaction. And so that's, that's one of the parts I miss about school, that constant social interaction through classroom, in the hallways, during lunch, et cetera, et cetera. Do you have any advice for freshmen who are having trouble adjusting to this rather bizarre school year? I would say to try and join some clubs, find um, organizations that you're into, but um, I, I would advise them to join clubs because a lot of the club officers now are trying their best to replicate that sort of feeling of connection and um, just join a lot of them because you may not get, if you join a really big club, they may not be able to give you the individual attention, but if you find a club that you're really passionate about and you can connect with the students um, over distance learning through that club, then I think you'll feel a little bit more adjusted to high school and feel like you know, you're really in high school. Lastly, I was curious on how teachers were faring on this bizarre school schedule. Did they feel the same way as us students or did they feel differently? My name is Holly Estrada and I am an English teacher at Aragon High School, and my preferred pronouns are she and her. I hope that I would feel that people were doing their best to reach out and make me feel valued, And, um, but I, I have to admit that I would be maybe a little disoriented, maybe a little bit intimidated, and maybe feeling a little bit disconnected. Uh, you know, I mean, even if I were able to recognize that people were doing their best to love me up, I'm not sure <laughs> that it would work as well as the teachers want it to. So obviously I had a lot of worries for students who have trouble connecting, for students who may not have um, you know, equal access to technology or who just by virtue of their personality type, this kind of learning doesn't work for them. All of those concerns rushed into the front of my mind, but I was also one of the people sort of campaigning to make school be online simply because we could promise to deliver something consistently and reliably. And what I did not want to have happen is have us all come back in person or in some kind of hybrid system and then have to close it down and throw everyone into chaos and then open it back up again. Um, chaos or more chaos was the last thing I wanted. So I actually felt relieved. I have to say that um, I have been absolutely floored and amazed by how um, just amazingly well my freshmen have bounced back and adapted um, we were really, really concerned that we were going to have to slow our curriculum down a great deal. We were thinking there were going to be a lot of the technology skills that we were going to have to be going over much more slowly. Of course, we all know the truth that most of the time it's the young people teaching teachers how to work the Zoom better. And um, so, you know, I feel like uh, in terms of trying to make things really clear, We've had to pare down some items. Maybe we don't throw as many items at students per day, especially the freshmen. But um, I just, I can't think of anything else to say except that my freshmen have been so resilient, willing and dedicated that uh, I've been beyond impressed and um, you know, just felt like they did most of the work. So I think the, the biggest thing that I've been trying to do is to be 
organized. And I recognize that you know, I, we all make mistakes and sometimes, you know, I'm scolding myself at the end of the day, not taking my own advice and, you know, mad that I messed up a due date or, or anything along those lines. But I have really taken pains to try to make every instruction as clear as I possibly can, make the structure, the due dates, the, you know, down to numbering my assignments, just to try to give clarity. I feel like if we're gonna ask you all to perform, that is the most basic thing that we owe you, is to try to be clear about what we're asking for. And, um, you know, that's where I'm putting the majority of my energy. On that note, is there any advice that you would give someone like me who has never experienced any of this before? You know, I think it's been such a life lesson for me to, um, you know, try to live in the moment. I, I'm about to say a bunch of chicken soup for the soul cliche things, I feel, but I, I think that, um, you know, the only thing that has been keeping me grounded as an adult is sort of clinging to the people that I love, um, clinging to the activities that I love, trying to be kind and gentle to myself, um, lots and lots of crying. And, you know, so I think, I think really the ultimate thing that I would draw through is to just try to drop any judgment of yourself um, and, uh, you know, still try to give your best. But if you hear any uh, shame voices or scolding voices or guilt voices, just tell them to hush.